Shabbat Shalom, fam. Shabbat Shalom. Glad you can join us today. Mm -hmm. We made it through another week. We made it through another week through the Matrix family mm -hmm. in Babylon. And yes. uh, this today's message, family, is going to be a powerful message because it's powerful in the sense that family, these are things that we have to constantly be reminded of mm -hmm. how we are mighty in Yah. Yes. We are mighty in Yah, fam. When we put our trust in Him, our strength, we gain our strength from Him. We mm -hmm. gain our strength in Yah. And we're going to be pulling that from the Scriptures, family. And we feel like this is important because, again, a lot of times we forget when we're going through the trials and tribulations mm -hmm. of life, the different challenges in life. Mm -hmm. um, we just forget about that and we just focus on now, what's going on now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, we don't forget. We forget about the things that Yah did for us in the past. Right. What He did for our ancestors. Right. All the things that He's brought us through, family. So mm -hmm. it's important to just remind ourselves of where our strength comes from. Mm -hmm. That we are mighty in Yah when we put our trust in Him, family. Yes. Um, a lot of us we go through could be relationship issues, mm -hmm. family issues, financial issues. Mm -hmm. We've had them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, personal issues Personal issues, personal. job challenges mm -hmm. uh, Medical issues, medical diagnoses right. uh, We know we have people that follow us all different ages So we know a lot of us, we all go through different mm -hmm. challenges, family And like I said, we forget You forget, we forget And mm -hmm. it's not just a reminder for you guys But it's also a reminder for us Absolutely. also um, this When I was putting this lesson together I was just thinking of the things that Yah brought us through, mm -hmm. uh, when we put it, when we put our trust in Him, and it, it just, it, it almost bring you to tears when you think about it, family. Think about the things that He He's brought you through, mm -hmm. the things that He He pulled you through, mm -hmm. He pulled your family members through. When things seemed die, when all hope was lost, mm -hmm. and it, you look up and you'd be like, man. That was nothing but Yah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's nothing. No, yep, it was Him. It's nothing I did. Mm -hmm. So. Um, we just we gonna touch on that today, family. And I just think that it's important that we don't forget that. Mm -hmm. You want to add something? Yes. Um, I just want to add when you was talking about uh, what the different things that we sometimes forget. Mm -hmm. One of them too, I wanted to add is sometimes we forget who's in control. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Which we know is our Father. Yes, yeah. yes. He's in control, mm -hmm. and He has a. a good way sometimes of showing us that right. well a good way of showing us that mm -hmm. um you know just by things that happens that's that we know is supernatural and right. we know that there was no other way that this thing could have happened mm -hmm. and that's when we realize that he's the one that's in control and not us so Absolutely. i just wanted to add that part mm -hmm. and also i want to read a scripture before we go um further mm -hmm. and it's in it's the scripture in second Timothy three sixteen through 17 mm -hmm. and it says all scripture is given by inspiration of Elohim mm -hmm. and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness mm -hmm. that the man of Elohim may be perfect thoroughly furnished unto all good works and the reason why I read that scripture is because the part in here where it talks about they're all important, of course, mm -hmm. but the reason why we decided to do this message is because um, the one that says instruction and righteousness. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, like the scriptures that often says is for our inspiration as well. So these stories that we're going to be um, talking about with you guys is really for our inspiration right. and for our instruction and in righteousness. Absolutely. Because it helps us to remember what y'all did for our ancestors mm -hmm. and it helps us to keep in mind of what he can do for us. Absolutely. And also to kind of get us on the right path. Mm -hmm. If we ever get to that point where we become despondent. Mm. And um, you know trying to figure things out and relying on our own strength. Mm -hmm. It's remembering that really it's your strength we are to, yes. to rely on. Not our own. Yes. And just getting back on track. Mm -hmm. So, In other words what you're saying is that. Family, we are mighty in, in Yah. Yeah, absolutely. And the key words mm -hmm. in that sentence is in, in Yah. Yah. <laughs> <laughs> Not in ourselves. 
That's true. And we are mighty in Yah family, mm -hmm. and that's what we want to remind you guys. So, mm -hmm. um, the scripture that we're pulling this from um, is, is comes from Psalms chapter twenty-eight. Mm -hmm. Again, this is David family. We know David was a man after Yah's own heart. Um, he wrote so many psalms, so many, I mean, beautiful prayers. Uh, and a lot of times he was writing these prayers and going through his things because he was dealing with stuff. Mm -hmm. from, from, since a young age, mm -hmm. all the way up till his passing. I right. mean, David dealt with all kind of stuff. I don't, I don't know if there's anybody else who went through all the stuff that David went through right. in the scriptures. Right, so, and in Psalms, he pretty much was actually describing his whole right, life. His life, exactly. <laughs> his whole life, exactly. So, uh, this is Psalms chapter twenty-eight, verses seven through eight. It says, "Blessed be Yahuwah, because he had heard the voice of my supplication. Supplication is prayers. Mm -hmm. He's heard my prayers. Mm -hmm. Yahuwah is my strength and my shield. Mm -hmm. My heart trusted in him." And I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices, and my song will I praise him. And with my song, I will praise him. And this is the key verse. Verse 8, family says, Yahuwah is their strength, and he is the saving strength of his anointed. Whoa. He is the saving strength, he is the refuge mm -hmm. of the anointed. So he saves us also. His, Absolutely. His saving strength. Of his anointing. Comes to our defense. Mm. I mean, anytime when we, when we, like I said earlier, despondent. Mm-hmm. Need help. Yes. Helpless. At, yes. <laughs> yes. He's that strength. And like we said, fam, we've all been there. I'm sure probably mm -hmm. a couple of you have probably gone, those are listening out of going through a certain situation. Mm -hmm. um, and again, fam, we're always praying for you guys. That's why we always encourage you to pray for us. Right. We're praying for you because Every we know. Day. It's tough, family. Mm -hmm. It's going through life. Mm -hmm. What's that old saying? They're saying that if mm -hmm. uh, you're not happy with life, or just just keep living. Just keep living. Just Something keep gonna it. happen. Right. <laughs> right. Um, so, but y'all tells us to rejoice in the good and the bad times. Well, so, if you're not happy with life, or what they say, if, if, if you're, um, I guess if you're, if everything is going great, right? If everything is going great for you in life, just keep living. Just keep living. <laughs> Something will happen. Right. You're gonna get reminded. <laughs> Right. You're going to get reminded mm -hmm. who's in control. That's what you were saying right. earlier. Right. Um, so let's kind of break down that, that verse 8. Um, it says, Yahuwah is their strength. Strength in, in that uh, verse is Strong's number 5797. And that's the Hebrew word, as. And it refers to power, might, and ability, family. Mm -hmm. Power, might, and ability. Hmm. Says Yah is their strength. Yah is their power. power might, he is and their ability. might. He gives them the ability. Mm. Wow, wow! Yah gives us the ability, mm. family, through Him. Yes. For when I am weak, I am strong. Then I am strong. Yes, yes, yes. Through Yah. Yes, indeed. And He is the saving strength. Uh, in some verses, it says He is the re He is their refuge. Mm. Um. But when you look up that that uh, that phrase or refuge in in, uh, in the Strong's, it's Strong's number forty five eighty one, and th and that word is Hebrew word is ma'az ma'az, and it describes a place of safety and protection. Mm. So they're saying Yah is our refuge, He's our protection, He's our safety, family. Mm. Again, a lot of times when we're going through stuff, we forget that mm -hmm. that He's our safety, He's our right. protection. A lot of times. What happens? And we've even heard people say this. Mm -hmm. They going through something. What they'll say? They'll flip and they'll say, "Well, y'all don't love me. Mm -hmm. Right? Y'all doesn't care about me because he wouldn't make me go through this. Mm -hmm. or I wouldn't be going through this." Mm -hmm. But the scripture is telling us, family, he's our safety and our protection. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's making you go through something to get your attention. Right. 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 S telling you to wake up. Because. Mm -hmm. In any other way, you wouldn't listen. Your life was going so great right. that you didn't listen. Right. So he's like, oh, I got to get your attention now. Mm -hmm. Show you who's in control. In control. That's why a lot of times we go through these trials and tribulations for y'all to show us who's in control. Absolutely. Because I often say this. Mm -hmm. Everything is always going great in your life. Mm -hmm. I mean, or if everything is always going great in all of our lives, think about it. Would we even think that we need anybody? 
because of our sinful nature. Yes. We would automatically feel like we don't need no one because it's all, our lives are always perfect. Mm -hmm. So we have to go through these little bumps, these little hurdles, so that we can realize, yes, we do need Yah. Mm -hmm. We cannot do this on our own. We cannot rely on our own strength. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Very true. Very, very true. Um, the last part of that verse says, He is a saving strength of His anointed. And anointed, we nest Strong's number 4899. And anointed is Mashiach. Um, and it refers to Yah's chosen ones or leaders. Mm -hmm. And we know too, Mashiach is, talks about Yahushua. Mm -hmm. But it also means chosen one. So it's mm -hmm. saying he protects his chosen one. Mm -hmm. He protects his people, family. Mm -hmm. So that's why we can't forget that. Mm -hmm. We cannot forget that. We must always put our trust in him. We do those things, we see what happens. The amazing things that Yah could do for us, if we don't forget those things. Right. So let's look at some examples, family. Let's look at one of the greatest stories that, mm -hmm. I mean, that's in the scriptures, mm -hmm. of one who, who went against all odds, when all odds were against him. Mm -hmm. When everybody else was saying, ain't no way that this can happen. Mm -hmm. Everyone right. else was afraid. It took a boy to defeat a giant. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we know... Grown men were scared of the Grown giant. Grown men were scared of the giant. It took a boy, a child. So we know it was nothing that David did. How can I, I could imagine a child coming up to me today and, and trying to fight me in combat? It's impossible. <laughs> I would be like the like they. I mean, I'd be like Goliath. Like this, y'all sending a child to fight me? Right. Like I'm gonna crush this child. Right. Let's say like a little four or five year yeah, old. Yeah, five, six, seven, eight year old. That's what that's nine like with a giant exactly. and a, a small person. Exactly. So you know it, it's only Yah that that was with David. Only Yah. Only no Yah. Only Yah. So let's read that. We're getting that from first Samuel chapter seventeen, verses forty through fifty. You mm -hmm. wanna start? It says, Then he took his staff in his hand, mm -hmm. and he chose for himself five smooth stones from the brook. Mm. And put them in a shepherd's bag, <clears throat> in a pouch, a pouch which he had, and his sling, and his sling was in his hand, and he drew near to the Philistine. So the Philistine came, and began drawing near to David, and the man who bore the shield went before him, mm -hmm. and when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him. For he was only a youth, mm. ruddy, ruddy, or ruddy, <laughs> ruddy, and good-looking. Mm -hmm. So the Philistine said to David, "Am I a dog mm. that you come to me with sticks?" <laughs> and the Philistine cursed David by his gods. Mm -hmm. And the Philistine said to David, "Come to me." And I will give your flesh to the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. Mm. Then David said to the Philistine, You come to me with a sword, with a spear, and with a javelin. Mm -hmm. But I come to you in the name of Yahuwah of hosts. Mm. The Elohim of the armies of Israel. Which we know it's really Yahshua. Mm -hmm. Whom you have defied. This day, Yahuwah will deliver you into mm. my hand, and I will strike you and take your head from you. In mm. this day, I will give the carcasses of the camp of the Philistines to the birds of the air and the wild beasts of the earth, mm. that all the earth may know that there is a Elohim in Israel. Oh, wow. Then all this assembly shall know that Yahuwah does not save with sword and spear. Woo! <laughs> For the battle is Yahuwah's, and he will give you into our, our hands. hands. Pause right there. Oof. The word is know, powerful. What? You fresh, you want to say something Woo! about it? I'm just, it's mm -hmm. deep, it's deep. Mm -hmm. Just the part where, like where he said, um, he came in the name of Yahuwah. He was like, I don't have all of what you have. Right. I'm coming straight with the name of Yahuwah. This is this is how I'm coming. Mm -hmm. That is deep to me. That mm -hmm. is so deep. In the name of Yahuwah. Mm. Mm. The Elohim of the armies of Israel. Mm -hmm. You have defied. 
Yeah, I just that that whole little section right there is so powerful because I like what what David is saying. He's like, you come to me with a sword and a spear. Mm -hmm. It's like you have all these things, but what you was just saying is like, mm -hmm. I come in the name of Yah. Mm -hmm. And family, that's what we're telling you guys. When we are mighty in Yah, mm -hmm. when we come in His name, when we know where our strength comes right. from. Right. We can do the impossible, family. Yes. No matter if the odds are against us. Right. The odds look bleak. Right. <laughs> right. The challenges are too tall. They're yes. too big. Mm -hmm. When we come in Yah, when we know our strength comes from Yah, mm -hmm. we can defeat giants, family. Mm -hmm. and this we can is overcome any all situation. obstacles. Any situation. We we're going to give y'all examples. Mm -hmm. I mean, of situations that we personally went through. Right. We knew that. Like we said, it was Yah. Right. It was nobody else but yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but you can continue. Mm -hmm. It says, so it was when the Philistine arose and came and drew near to meet David, mm -hmm. that David hurried and ran toward the army to meet the Philistine. Mm. Then David put his hand in his bag and took out a stone and he slung it and struck the Philistine in his forehead mm -hmm. so that the stone sank into his forehead and he fell on his face to the earth. Mm. So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and a stone mm. and struck the Philistine and killed him. But there was no sword in the hand of David. Mm. Therefore, David ran and stood over the Philistine. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Stood over him. Stood over him. Conquered him. Mm. Took his sword and drew it out mm. of his, out of its shelf. Sheep. Mm. His, oh, his sheep. Mm. And killed him and cut off his head with it. Mm. And when the Philistines saw that their champion was dead, they fled. Mm. <laughs> Another power, powerful section. That's and we read lot. this story before, and I'm right. sure a lot of you have read this story before too. Right. But look how powerful the word is. Mm. Like even though you read it, when you read it again, it's like you always get even a deeper revelation. revelation. Right. You know, just the word is powerful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But family, what what we can learn from this, and as I was reading it, I just thought of uh, the fact that I know you you guys you heard the example the example in the streets. You fighting somebody, it's somebody, uh, well, not say a gang or whatever, just say a, a group of people or something like that. What you do? Take oh, out the my. head. Let's say it's, it's a group of people, mm -hmm. and then the, the one of them, and you can you know that they're the leader of the group. Mm -hmm. You defeat the, the leader, everybody mm -hmm. else gonna scatter. Mm -hmm. uh, that that's something that they they say in the streets, family. It's just like you beat the you beat the leader. The other ones go run. You ain't got to worry about nobody else. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. Um, and that's what happened in this situation. David, David uh, killed Goliath. So he didn't have to worry about the other Philistines. Mm -hmm. They took off and ran. Took off. Took off and like, ran. Like if he can get him. <laughs> what are you going to do to us? We don't, want no, we don't want no smoke with David. <laughs> we out. We, we out of here. here. But I like what this is saying, family, in the sense that David stood up. And a lot of times that what we have to do instead of. Shirking away from the situation. Mm -hmm. That's what a lot of the men was doing. The Israelites. Mm -hmm. They didn't want no. They didn't want no part of this. Mm -hmm. Remember Saul too. Saul was the king. Saul didn't even want to go out and fight. Mm -hmm. None of his men wanted to go out. Right. You remember? I think the story was he was saying, "I'm gonna give you whoever go out go out and fight. I'm gonna give you my daughter." He was I, giving them like all kind of uh, rewards. Whoever would go out, okay. but nobody wanted to accept the reward. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. Yeah, nobody wanted to accept it. Mm -hmm. But uh. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, what I'm saying in these situations, when we're dealing with challenges, family, mm -hmm. a lot of times all we have to do is stand up and accept the challenge and face it head on. Trust Yah. Trust Yah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. When we trust Yah, he's going to find a way. Look at how you killed the giant. Right. With a stone. Right. A lot of times we think we got to use our own strength, our own might to, to overcome a situation. Mm -hmm. But David went about it in a whole unconventional way. Yes. Kill him with a whole rock. And as you can see, David had no fear in him. No fear. That was no fear. Stood up to him. So we definitely have to pray that prayer each day. Mm -hmm. You know, that Yah removes all fear out of our hearts. Exactly. If we have any. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just pray that Yah gives us, you know, that strong belief mm -hmm. in him. That strong, you know, belief as David had. Right. 
to where we we don't fear what's to come. Exactly. You know, and we can walk boldly in confidence, mm -hmm. just knowing that regardless, you know, no matter what what happens, Yah's in control, and Yah has the situation, and He goes before us. So he's going to he's going to guide the situation however he wants it to yeah, go. Absolutely. But he's in control of it. Absolutely. He got it. Family, all y'all drop them in the comment. I'm, like we said, I'm sure a lot of you guys are dealing with certain situations. Drop them what you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. Or what you need help to to y'all to give you strength with. Mm -hmm. You are mighty in Yah family. Mm -hmm. Lean on him, just like David did. Mm -hmm. David said, I came in the name of Yah. Mm -hmm. Who are you? Now just think of that. Mm -hmm. I mean, just us thinking thinking about it. Like, how many of us honestly would actually see a big old giant like that? <laughs> we'd probably be just like the other Israelites. <laughs> like, no, <nope>, not me. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, how many of us? Right. So we really have to pray for that strong belief, mm -hmm. you know, so that we can be able to walk boldly mm. and knowing that Yah is in control of everything in our lives everything you see he is our saving strength mm. you know he's our shield absolutely protection the scriptures tells us that yep yeah. um no and that reminds me of david too remember david from since a young age killed lions killed bears he always had his faith in y'all since a young age and that's that just reminded me too fan that's what we always tell you guys especially my fathers it is you, it's your job to remind your children of the power of Yah, mm -hmm. the mighty things that he can do. When mm -hmm. all else is lost, when all hope is lost, go to Yah. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to know that that's our job as parents, mm -hmm. teaching our kids, grandparents, teaching your, your grandkids, trusting Yah no matter what the situation is, because he can deliver you, he can protect you. Mm -hmm. Um. This happened to us probably a couple of years ago our, in our own family. Mm -hmm. Our son, and just when I was thinking about the story this morning, was bringing me to tears. Mm -hmm. um, our son he used to work at uh, Chick-fil-A while he was in college. Mm -hmm. And you guys know in, in these restaurants, they have these freezers, these coolers. Mm -hmm. You go into these freezers, some of them. You have to leave the door open because I remember when I worked at uh, Taco Bell when I was in high school mm -hmm. and uh, I used to go in the freezer and stuff. You had to leave that freezer door open because mm -hmm. if it closed behind you, you couldn't, couldn't open it. Right. I don't know why they designed it like that. Mm -hmm. We heard the story, what, about a month or two ago about the lady that worked mm -hmm. at a restaurant and she was found dead yeah. in the freezer. Uh -huh. They found her dead in the freezer. Same situation that happened with our son. But yep. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, but our son went down... Um, into the freezer mm -hmm. and in the student union where he was working it's two stores mm -hmm. i mean it's i mean it's like a two-story building mm -hmm. the restaurant was on the second floor the cooler was down there on uh on the first floor i mm -hmm. think so he went down there and he went to get something out of the cooler they told him he need they needed something mm -hmm. he went in there and guess what family the door closed behind him mm -hmm. couldn't open it mm -hmm. couldn't open it family yeah said he grabbed the cell phone, no signal. Nobody was coming and check. Nobody was coming and check. I don't even think he had told I think he had told somebody that he had went grab something or he was gone. Because I think that was the policy. They had to tell somebody that they was gone, they was leaving out the store or whatever, or going to the cooler. But it's very easy for people to forget. Yeah. Once you you're very busy easy. doing work, right. Mm -hmm. You're like, well, maybe they're in the bathroom or something, or right. they're just messing around. But mm -hmm. anyhow, family, he's stuck in the cooler. No cell phone signal. Yeah, so he was looking at his phone and he didn't see no bars, like no service. But a lot of times, family, what a lot of people don't know is that even though your phone is saying no service, uh, nine times out of ten, texting is still going to work. So, But he didn't know that. Again, he's a kid. Um. So anyhow, he's stuck in the freezer, family. Tried pushing it open. Wouldn't open. I don't know. He was stuck in there probably ten minutes. He said he just got down on his knees and started praying. Put his trust in Yah, family. Mm -hmm. Put his strength in Yah. Cried out to Yah and said, I got Yah, got to get me out of here. Got up, kicked the door. <laughs> and remember, oh, he was kicking it before, wouldn't open. He wasn't opening. Yeah, we didn't say that yep. part. He was, he was kicking, kicking it, door, doing all kind of stuff to try to get out. But hallelujah. He called on Yah. He called on Yah. He knew where his strength come, mm -hmm. came from. 
When all else was dire, family, that's mm-hmm. what we're telling you guys. Put your strength, put your trust in Yah. Mm-hmm. We are mighty in Yah. Look what happened when he called on Yah. Mm-hmm. When he prayed to Yah. Yah gave him that extra strength. Yep. That he needed to open that door. Mm-hmm. Found a way for him to open that door. Right. So, we And just... he kicked the door, and I'm going to say this. I don't believe they knew. No, no nobody... they didn't know. No, you remember when you said he told them? Mm-hmm. Or whatever, they didn't know. Because when he went back, he said... Or maybe he did, and they forgot. Right, I don't they know, forgot but about, I know right. when he went back to tell them what mm-hmm. happened. They were they shocked. Was, they were shocked. They was like, we didn't know you was down, stuck right. down there. Right. So... That's just a powerful testimony of family. What happens when we put our trust in Yah? Mm-hmm. Because, like we just said, mm-hmm. we're so thankful to Yah because just right. two months ago, family, this was a grown woman, elderly mm-hmm. woman, manager. Out there. Yes, in our area. Yes, mm-hmm. was found in the freezer in a restaurant. Same situation. Same situation. Went in and then probably locked behind her. Yep. And they found her the next morning. Mm-hmm. So how? Yeah, that's what happened. It did lock behind her. Yes. Yes. Yep. So. Again, family, put our trust in Yah. Our might comes from Him when all else looks impossible. Mm-hmm. Other situations, we're in financial situations, and we was like, Yah, we don't know how we're going to get this paid or how we're going to make this right, happen. Right, right. And we was like, it's up to you, Yah. We mm-hmm. put it in His hands. Absolutely. And He like provided each and country. exactly. The word is the truth. When we believe in it, when we trust in Yah, mm-hmm. His word is the truth. Absolutely. It doesn't matter how it looks. Absolutely. When you actually give it to Him and say, Father, I will trust you. Mm-hmm. No matter how it looks, even though it's looking that way, and you cry out and you pray to Him, mm-hmm. He will come through. Absolutely. He will come through. Absolutely. Very, very powerful. Um, Isaiah 40, 29 says, He gives power to the weak. And to those who have no might, he increases strength. strength. Ooh, those who have no might. Ooh, were we just talking about that? David. And Young our David son. And our son. Because he had no might he to open no it. He had no might. He couldn't open before. Couldn't open before. So, he again, family, strength. he increases strength. We can't forget about the mm-hmm. things that Yah has done for us. The things that he can do for us. Again. Drop them in the comments, family, the things that Yah have done for you where you knew right. that it was Yah. It was nothing that you did. Right. It I was Yah that took care of this. Mm-hmm. To share it with mm-hmm. them. Um, I don't know if you remember. Well, of course you're going to remember. We can't forget that. But <laughs> right. the time when um, we had a, a storm mm-hmm. um, here down south, it was actually a, um, it was actually a tornado storm. Mm-hmm. And it was happening in different areas. Right. Around but, us. Right. Mm-hmm. And at the time, my mother-in-law was still alive. Mm-hmm. And we had went to visit her. Mm-hmm. And it was starting to rain. And it was on the news saying, okay, this is, you know, we're gonna have, they're going to have a tornado storm right. coming. So we didn't live too far. Probably like 15 minutes. Right, 15 mm-hmm. minutes. But we had to get on um, the interstate to right. get home. And so when we seen that, we just hurry up and we was like, okay, we got to hurry up and get, you know, get on, get, get home. Right. <laughs> so we left and we was trying to rush to get home. And when we and left, the clouds were, the, I mean, clou- it, the, yep. the sun clear was sky. out. Yep. Clear sky. It was clear sky. Mm. Nothing was happening. Yep. But the minute we got by the, it was well, almost by the interstate. Mm-hmm. It's, it was about like five minutes away from from our house. Right. Mm-hmm. It started pouring down, raining. It just came from nowhere. Yep. And when I tell you pouring down, raining, it was so bad to where we could no longer see mm-hmm. anything. Mm-hmm. Like Brother Rush, I had to actually stop the car. Yes. At, well, the, you the, know, the vehicle, mm-hmm. the truck at the time. Mm-hmm. He had to stop because he could not see where he was going. And so we were like panicking. Right. Because that's how bad it was. We've never been in a storm nope. like that before, ever. Nope. And we already knew they were talking about tornadoes. And right. That. But we thought we could have beat it because they was talking right. like it wasn't coming right away. Right. <clears throat> they was just mm-hmm. saying, prepare yourself. Mm-hmm. But it was raining so hard, the vehicle started shaking. That's how bad it was. Right. So when I tell you we were panicking, mm-hmm. honestly, you guys, I thought that was the end for us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I thought that was it. I really wow. thought that in a in a matter of seconds we was gonna be swooped into the air right. in a tornado and we would have been gone. Mm-hmm. That's how bad it was. Yeah, it was bad. And when I tell you 
We just all started praying in the vehicle and calling on the name of Yah. Mm-hmm. Um, it was me, it was Brother Rasha, and both of our um, children, because mm-hmm. our son was young at the time, mm-hmm. and our daughter. And we just all started praying and calling on Yah's mm-hmm. name. And when I tell you guys, Yah, just from nowhere, he actually made the weather and the rain light. He made it lighter. Yep. He made the winds lighter. Mm-hmm. Because we was right, we was like a couple of, well, how, how far would you say from the underpass? We was trying to make it right. under the underpass like, to park uh, for to protect about us. About like 100 yards. Mm-hmm. Well, he stopped it for us to make it under the underpass to mm-hmm. park the vehicle until the rain would stop. To protect us mm-hmm. from all of the rain. Right. And from all of the wind that was blowing mm-hmm. and everything. So we literally could see. Brother Rush, I could see, and he went park under that underpass, yep, and we sat there, passed. yes, mm-hmm. until it passed, mm-hmm. and it passed away, and we were able to get back, and then the, guess what? <laughs> right after the sun came back out. Yep, quick like that. The sun came back out. Quick like that. And we get home, and then we find out there was all type of tornadoes. Yep, all over, bad weather all around us. And it had yeah. happened around us, too. There was tornadoes that happened around mm-hmm. that time. And, and uh, no, I was going to say, too, just mm-hmm. the thing around where we live, we rarely get any tornadoes. Right. That's the why worst we weather, right. The it. worst weather events we have around here is hurricanes. And we know when they come in because they're mm-hmm. all across the news and mm-hmm. we have days warning in advance. Mm-hmm. But this here, this just happened out of the blue. Out of the blue. Mm-hmm. And we definitely didn't think it would have been us in, in a storm like that because a tornado storm like that because mm-hmm. it never happened before. Absolutely. Yeah, that was crazy. I forgot. But yeah, it's you amazing. Told me about it. Yes, he is. Philippians four thirteen says, "I can do all things things through Yahushua who strengthens me." Mm-hmm. So he can get you through storm, family. <laughs> he can get you through challenges, mm-hmm. no matter what. Just know where the strength comes from. Right. You are mighty in Yah, family. Absolutely. Never, never forget that. Mm-hmm. Another example of of what our ancestors went through, the patriarchs. Again. Moses had the Red Sea with the Israelites. Mm-hmm. You want to read that? Um, Exodus chapter 14, starting yes. at verse 10. Yes, it says, And when Pharaoh drew near, mm-hmm. the children of Israel lifted their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians marched after them. Mm-hmm. So they were very afraid, and the children of Israel cried out to Yahuwah. Then they said to Moses, Because there were no graves in Egypt have you taken us away to die in the wilderness Mm. (laughs) why have you so dealt with us to bring us up out of Egypt is this not the word that we told you in Egypt saying let us alone Mm -hmm. that we may serve the Egyptians Mm. for it would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than that we should die in the wilderness (laughs) And Moses said to the people, Do not be afraid. Mm. Stand still and see the salvation of Yahuwah, which he will accomplish for you today. Mm. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall see again no more forever. The, well, Yahuwah Mm -hmm. will fight for you. And you shall hold your peace. Oh, my, my, my. Powerful family. Powerful. powerful. Mm -hmm. It says, oh, my goodness. Do not be afraid and stand still and see the salvation of Yahuwah. So, as we can see in this, like a lot of that comes from fear. Mm -hmm. Yep. As you can see, like a lot of times uh, when people are in fear, they're not really trusting in Yah. Absolutely. They're trusting in their own strength. Exactly. They're not really realizing that there's a strength greater than theirs. Yes. There's a strength, you know, above more powerful. theirs. More exactly. powerful. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And that's what Moses was telling them. Do not fear. They Fair said, up. stand still. And sometimes that's what we need to do. Yep. Stand still. Yep. Let y'all do his thing. Exactly. Let and y'all just get do out of thing. the way. Stand still. Trust in him. Pray to him. Ask him for whatever that thing is that you, you need help in, whatever that is. And just stand still and see him come through. That reminds me of our son. Mm-hmm. You struggling with it on first. Mm-hmm. Right. Still still. Still still and so pray. Let me go to y'all. Right. Let y'all handle this. Right. 
Right. I think he told us too. He, I think he said y'all told him kick that door one more time. Mm-hmm. Wow. When he kicked the door. That's amazing, family. Mm-hmm. That's powerful. Right. And he then still. This. We mm-hmm. were panicking in that. Oh, bed. exactly. Right. <laughs> you don't know what's going to happen. The vehicle shaking and it's storming, and you don't even know if a vehicle will come behind you. You're right. Because nobody could see. Right. Because mm-hmm. they had vehicles too. Right. The, we were all stuck with. on that right. road. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So it, it's powerful. Mm-hmm. But again, like what you were saying, Moses. Moses told them, "Don't be afraid." Right. Don't be Stand fearful. Stand still and see the stuff. Stand still and see what y'all gonna do. Mm-hmm. Watch our Elohim go to work. He said, Yahoo will fight for yeah, you. Yahoo will fight for you. Woo! He's That's our what we, deliverer. He delivers us from all trouble if we're mm-hmm. his chosen one. Mm-hmm. If we're his chosen ones and we put our trust mm-hmm. in him, he's going to deliver us, family. Right. So that's so powerful. And Yahoo even delivers. He helps those who don't know him as well. Because exactly. Because he said he's no respecter of person. So just imagine if he could do that for them. What more would he do for those who really worship him, who really serve him and love him? You said, you, you and you didn't even know I was going to say this. Mm-hmm. Um, you, you made the perfect point. The principle is still the same, family. Mm-hmm. Um, you remember that story with the lady? That was years ago. Um, and you guys probably saw it on the news. It probably was about four or five years ago or something. The lady, there was an accident on a boat, uh, like a tourist boat. Mm-hmm. I think they called it some type of frog oh. boat. Um, so it's one of these little tourist right. boats that just crawls. Uh, I mean, it, it it goes in shallow water or something. I'm, right, and it's small. Know. Right, it's like it's a small. tour boat. Yeah, it's a mm-hmm. tourist boat. Mm-hmm. But anyhow, the boat. Something the 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 captain hit something in the water or something the boat began to sink. Mm-hmm. It was wasn't it bad weather too? It might have been bad, bad weather. weather. Yep, exactly. Weather. Yep, and they mm-hmm. weren't even supposed to be out on the water. Mm-hmm. Um, but this lady, Christian lady, I think, mm-hmm. couldn't swim. Family couldn't swim. A lot of the people on that boat drowned. I think it was like mm-hmm. 20, 20 something people. I or think something she had family died. that drowned yep. too. Exactly. Yep. Her yep. family drowned. Her, fa- her family drowned. Mm-hmm. She's the only one that made it. <clears throat> And what happened with her family is, again, she couldn't swim. She said, they interviewed on the news, she said when the boat started going down, she was fighting it. Mm-hmm. She was fighting it. Like, how am how I going to get out of this? Mm-hmm. She said a minute, she let go. And she stopped fighting. Well, she wasn't in the boat anymore. She, she wasn't was in the boat she anymore. Wouldn't... Uh-oh. She was in the water. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the... the actually, the, the boat, boat flipped, flipped over. Right, right. So when it flipped, some of the people came out because mm-hmm. it was open. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, so she came out. Mm-hmm. But she said... she well, Didn't she say she closed her eyes? She just said she she prayed and she closed her eyes. Mm-hmm. And she just let go. And she said when she woke up, <laughs> <laughs> she was with the paramedics. Right. They done saved her. She well, it was survived. God that saved right, her ultimately, exactly. but you know, he exactly. used the worst of people. Mm-hmm. But she survived it. And all her family died. All her family had died. So That's the sad part about again, it. Again, right. That was, oh, a lot that of just reminded died. me when you said that about, yeah, he's, if he's going to do that to non-believers, right. what he going to do right. for his people? Or even people that's his in chosen ignorance. Ones. Right. Because she was right. a Christian, but she was mm-hmm. just in ignorance, you know? Exactly. Yeah. But again, family, she let go. Mm-hmm. And she, she had stopped, faith. Right. And she stopped fighting. Mm-hmm. She stopped fighting and y'all delivered her. Mm-hmm. So that was deep. Very, very powerful, family. Mm-hmm. Psalms 18, verse 2 says, Yahuwah is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my Elohim, my strength in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation. Mm-hmm. The horn of my deliverance hmm. says, My stronghold. I will call upon the name of Yahuwah. I will call upon Yahuwah, who is worthy to be praised. Mm. So shall I be saved from my enemies. Mm. Again, mm. David family mm. says he is my stronghold. That's something that we can never forget, family. Mm-hmm. We are mighty in yeah, Yah. Absolutely. Never forget that, family. He's in my shield. He also protects us, you guys. He protects mm. us. Mm. This is this is big. This is this is him revealing. I mean, like it's actually mm-hmm. he's revealing what Yah's character is mm-hmm. to us. You know, Proverbs thirty verse five. Every word of Yahuwah is pure. Mm-hmm. He is a shield to those who put their trust in mm-hmm. Him. 
mm-hmm. was just saying that he is a shield. A shield. So, well, go ahead. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. So this right here is telling us that this is how we get that shield. Put now trust in him. That's the key. The key is to trust him. To Absolutely. trust him. Absolutely. Trust um, him. A lot of you do that too. A lot, like we say, we hear a lot from you guys, and a lot of you, you told us your testimony of how you put your trust in Yah and how He has delivered you. So, praise Yah for that. Mm-hmm. Um, again, and we want to hear from you guys too. Drop them in the comments. Things that Yah has delivered you from. When you put your trust in Him, what has what has He done for you, family? That's important for us to hear that, to be reminded of that, mm-hmm. because, like I said at the beginning, family, a lot of us when we're going through challenges. When we're stuck in a certain situation and we feel like there's no hope, it's good to see that other people went through certain situations right. and we see that Yah delivered them, right. what he brought them through. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's good to revisit those things right. too because those things build faith. It builds exactly. belief because if you remember King David, the reason why his belief was so strong too is because of all of the obstacles, all of the different trials and tribulations he faced, and he and Yah showed him yep. continuously yep. that he the one was protecting him from exactly. it, and he the one was his defense, exactly. this defense. So because he was able to see that, it grew his faith more and more. Mm-hmm. So that's why it's good to always go back and, and, and see some of the things that Yah have already done for us mm-hmm. or have done for somebody else, where we've seen him come through in, um, you know, in a way to where you know it was supernatural. Right. Because that really helps build belief as Absolutely. well. And of course, in reading the word, I mean, of course, reading the mm-hmm. word, it tells us that that's what builds our belief Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. Um, very powerful. And, and those of you that struggle with putting your trust in Yah, uh, putting your faith in Him, and, and knowing that you're mighty in Yah, I don't know if we talked about this in the past. This is something that um, we do ourselves, we do it with our kids, and it's something we call the awesome jar. Mm-hmm. You guys can do it. This you get you like a a jar. It could be a mason jar, um, mm-hmm. just a clear jar, mm-hmm. where you can put stuff in and it has a top on it, whatever. Mm-hmm. You can write out scriptures, just like the one we just read. Mm-hmm. Every word of Yah is pure. He is a shield to those who put their trust mm-hmm. in Him. Mm-hmm. Write verses of things that Yah did for the ancestors. Write right. the things that Yah did for you. Right. It could be a called a gratitude. Jar. Right. It could be a gratitude mm-hmm. jar. You name it what you same. want. Mm-hmm. Right. A victory jar. Whatever. Right. Um, but it's just the things you put in that jar is the reminders mm-hmm. of all the things that Yah has done for you. Mm-hmm. A lot of times when you don't have no hope, you go back and reach in that mm-hmm. jar. You pull out a sheet of paper, and all you do is write it down, tear the paper, drop it in the jar. Mm-hmm. You got you start to doubt on some things. You go I'm back in that jar, mm-hmm. right? You discouraged. Go in that jar and pull that uh, slip of paper out. Mm-hmm. Read the things that Yah did for you. Yep, and you gonna remember. Mm-hmm. So that, that's a powerful thing to do to build your faith, family. Right. Like what Sister Abby y'all was saying too. Reading the scriptures. Right. See, building your faith up. Faith comes by hearing, yep. hearing by the word of Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Uh, other examples too. And y'all drop them in the comments of people who put their trust in Yah and how he delivered them. Another one is Daniel when he was in the lion's den. Mm-hmm. Um, how Yah delivered him from that. Right. How many people could trust in Yah in a lion's den? Mm-hmm. Not many. Woo! Not many, right. but again, he's the he's our ultimate source mm-hmm. of protection. He's our shield. Right. He protects us, family. Mm-hmm. Um, but what does that look like when we don't rely on you? Not too good. <laughs> again, that's <laughs> something that we t- well. right. Something we always talk about don't all the time when we're not putting our trust in y'all. Mm-hmm. We're putting it in ourselves. Mm-hmm. That's called pride, family. Mm-hmm. That's called pride. Mm-hmm. And I don't see nowhere in the scriptures where someone put their trust in themselves where it turned out good. Right. Let's right. look at Nebuchadnezzar. Um, what he did again, mm-hmm. glorified himself. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> a, little a little bug in there. <laughs> what was that? Daniel chapter four, verse twenty eight. Um, again, this is talking about Nebuchadnezzar. Uh, all this came upon King Nebuchadnezzar. At the end of the 12th month, he was walking about the royal palace of Babylon. The king spoke, saying, I is not this great Babylon that I have built for a wa- royal dwelling 
by my mighty power and for the honor of my majesty. <laughs> Look at me. Wow. I am the great one. Woo. That sounds like a lot of pride to me. <laughs> and again, family, it don't have to be a king. Uh -oh. We use in the, situa exactly. the situation the of a king. Exactly. The principle is the same. Right. The principle is mm -hmm. the, it don't have to be a king. Men be... do that every day where they become puffed up and prideful, you know, because the, they're in a situation or they got money. Yep. They, they rich. They're my very possessions. wealthy. they rich. And, Look at my knowledge. Right. And all of this stuff. Mm -hmm. So. So we can be prideful in many ways. Mm -hmm. um, verse 31. While the word was still in the king's mouth, a voice fell from heaven. King Nebuchadnezzar, to you it is spoken. The kingdom has departed from you. Mm -hmm. And they shall drive you from men. And your dwelling shall be with the beast of the field. Wow, so you shall live with the beast mm -hmm. of the field. That's going to be your A dwelling. king. A king. Mighty. Who just built this royal palace. Mm hmm by his great absolutely might, right said. yep hmm. and they shall drive you from men and your dwelling shall be with the beasts of the field mm. they shall make you eat grass like oxen mm. and seven times shall pass over you until you know that the most high rules in the kingdom of men Ooh. wow and gives it to whomever he chooses, he chooses. so y'all say I gave you that kingdom and just as I gave it, I could take, I it, could away. take it away. Whoa. I could snatch it from you. And if you guys, you know, um, remember the story, y'all turned, I, that's what they're, they're saying here, mm -hmm. that y'all really turned Nebuchadnezzar's mind into a beast. Absolutely. So he humbled him to that from, from a great king mm -hmm. to now you got the mind of a, a beast. beast. You're going to be with the beast. You're going to be acting just like the beast. Because you're so prideful. So you're so prideful. His might. Nebuchadnezzar saying, my might don't come from y'all. It comes mm -hmm, from me. From me. It comes from my hands. Mm -hmm, he forgot. What I did, right. Yeah, who was like, well, I'm going to remind you. Real fast. Mm -hmm. I'm about to show you who runs this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm about to show you who runs this. Right. Uh, verse 33, it says, That very hour the word was fulfilled concerning Nebuchadnezzar. He was driven from men and ate grass like oxen. His body was wet with the dew of heaven till his hair had grown like eagle's feathers and his nails like bird's claws. Mm -hmm. Wow. So he turned, basically Ooh, turned into a beast. Yes. Yes. Dang. Give him the so mind of the beast and actually started making him act mm, like a beast. Wow. But again, family, there can't be redemption. We can't be, be redeemed if we mm -hmm. humble ourselves. Mm -hmm. That's the most important part. Mm -hmm. Humbling ourselves. Mm -hmm. And in the later verses, we see that Nebuchadnezzar ended up humbling himself and he started to praise Yah. Mm -hmm. When he um, realized his wrongdoing. Right. And his pride. And y'all can go back and read that, but I'm going to read, uh, let's, let me read a couple of more verses. It says, verse 34, it says, And at the end of the time, I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted my eyes to heaven and my understanding returned to me. And I bless the Most High and praise and honor him who lives forever. For his dominion is an everlasting dominion, and his kingdom is from generation to generation. All the inhabitants of the earth are, repu are reputed as nothing. Wow. So you have to be humble to realize that. He went back and remember. Yep. And actually, he acknowledged that to y'all. Right. That I get it now, y'all. We nothing without you. We nothing without you. Says he does according to his will in the army of heaven mm -hmm. and among the inhabitants of the earth. Mm -hmm. No one can restrain his hand or say to him, What have you done? Mm -hmm. Says at the same time, my reason returned to me, and for the glory of my kingdom, my honor and splendor returned to me. My counsels and, and nobles resorted to me. I was restored to my kingdom, and excellent majesty was added to me. Now I, Nebuchadnezzar, Praise and extol and honor the King of Heaven, mm. all of whose works are truth, and His ways justice. And those who walk in pride, He is able to put down. Whoa! Nebuchadnezzar, family, that's what we was just telling you. Whoa! And we know too. Remember, 
where that's the scripture where it says when it's talking about um I think it's six things Yahuwah hates mm -hmm. seven mm -hmm. that are abominations right. I think mm -hmm. something like that right. but you guys know what I'm talking about mm -hmm. and one of them the very first thing they said is a proud look yep look a at proud me. look look at me and again family we all fall victim to this in one form of another. We're, we're proud in our possessions. We're proud in the knowledge that we have. Proud of our families. I think somebody was saying this the other day. They was like, <clears throat> we try. And that's something that, again, the culture has taught us to say, man, I'm proud of my family. Right. I'm proud we of my child. Yeah, of we too. all been guilty of it. But and really just trying to say we're happy exactly. for them. But we so used of that of using that term proud. I'm proud of them. I'm You're proud right. of you. You know, not really thinking right. about what you're actually saying. Right. You know? And we see that the scriptures really, it talks against pride. Being pride, being proudful. So if we can change how we say that, well, start changing. To, right. We're trying to do the same do the thing. Same we're just saying, thing. like, we're happy about Using different right. terms, you know? Y'all drop them in the comments. Thinking of different terms to say instead of saying, I'm proud. Right. I'm, I'm proud of my child. Right. What are some good ones, you right. guys, that like, we can like, all well, use? We said we're happy Are for proud them. of, it don't have to be just your child. Just, a, you know, somebody that's doing good and you're right. trying to encourage them to right. continue doing right. well in life. What Great, could you, you can say, say grateful. In other words, grateful. Right. Grateful for where they're at in life or for the things right. that they're doing. So right. just things like that. Again, y'all drop them in the comments, family. Uh, again, what you just said, y'all hates a proud look. Mm -hmm. So that's something that we don't want to have, family. Mm -hmm. And Nebuchadnezzar learned the hard way. Right. Um. Another one, <clears throat> we all know the story of Jezebel. And Jezebel is going mm. back to same thing with King uh, King Nebuchadnezzar. Start relying on our own strength. That's what we're saying, family. We're mighty in Yah. Mm -hmm. When we go outside of that, we're relying on ourselves. Mm -hmm. We're not relying on Yah no more. And that's when it could come back to bite us. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And, and we gave the examples. The woman who gave it to Yah. Mm -hmm. Our son gave it to Yah. Mm -hmm. Moses and our ancestors gave it to Yah. He parted the Red Sea. Right. And this Daniel. Could, mm -hmm. I thought of something too. This could also apply to if you're dealing with some struggles. Right. Because we know that in the body of, of believers that, mm -hmm. you know, people deal with struggles. There's right. Some things that they're trying to overcome. Mm -hmm. And that also can apply to this too. Right. Like trusting in Yah, letting go of your own strength. Realizing that it's not you that can fix the matter. Absolutely. Only Yah can fix Absolutely. the matter. And we're starting to have faith in him and trust in him and relying on him in his strength mm -hmm. to deliver you from whatever that thing that, that you might be with. struggling right. with. Right. And I'll That's add to that too. too. Um, we're not saying don't get the help if you need help if you're dealing with a certain oh, right. situation. We're Absolutely. not saying that. Right. Is, right. We're just saying that a lot of times you're powerless over these things. Right. Because you tried to fix it on your own. Right. And look where it got you. Right. It hasn't worked right, right? Right. And the more help the better. And the more help the better. Exactly. Exactly. Right. And a lot of times, too, we'll just say with addictions or whatever, certain things, it's, mm -hmm. a lot of times people don't want accountability. Mm hmm. So mm -hmm. that's going to what you just said. The more help we have, the better. Right. So right. we're not saying don't see help for the issues right. that you're dealing with. Right. It is important to get help, but what mm -hmm. we're saying is give it to Yah. Know that you're right. mighty in Yah to overcome these things. Right. You and can overcome to absolutely. overcome it. Mm -hmm. And he's the ultimate healer. Absolutely. Yes, he's the one at absolutely. the end because you can't do none of this. You can go and seek all kind of outside mm -hmm. help. But if, you're, if your number one faith is not, I mean, if your number one mm -hmm. trust is not in Yah and your faith, mm -hmm. then none of that other stuff is going to work. So right. you, you definitely have to have faith. Yah has to be number one. You have to know that ultimately he's the savior. He's mm -hmm. the one going to deliver you. But, you know, he do also use people sometimes mm -hmm. to help us as well. You Absolutely. Know? Absolutely. So let's let's read about Jezebel right quick. And uh, a lot of times when we read about Jezebel, a lot of people think it's just, Je oh, you got the Jezebel spirit. We always hear that all the time. And then. They always put it on women. Right. But really that spirit is a manipulative spirit. Mm -hmm. Trying to get things or, mm -hmm. or cause events to go your way on right. your by your will. Right. By manipulating the situation. Right. That's the Jezebel spirit. And that right. could be a man or a woman. Right. And so it's not just a woman. Mm -hmm. um, 
religion too. Right. Jezebel spirit, which in the future mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll touch on that. Mm -hmm. But um, yep. Let's so read that right quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. First mm -hmm. Kings chapter twenty one, starting at verse three, mm -hmm. <clears throat> says, "But Naboth said to now before that it was talking. You remember uh, what well, Ahab wants to uh get uh Naboth's uh vineyard so he could plant a garden." And he's like, I'm going to pay you for it or whatever. But uh, Naboth was like, nah, mm -hmm. I ain't having it. <laughs> so starting at verse 3, he's like, But Naboth said to Abraham, Yahuwah forbid that I should give the inheritance of my fathers to you. We were talking about this earlier. It's amazing how our ancestors, how they cherished these things. Mm -hmm. When it was passed down from generation to generation, mm -hmm. they cherished it. They just didn't give it away. Mm -hmm. How many stories we hear today of people who, their family left them something? Mm. Parent left them some. They sell it quick. They don't want that. That's quick. That's uh, what they say. That's uh, that's a hassle in my life. Mm -hmm. Uh, that, that's too much trouble. I don't want to deal with that. Right. I got my own thing going on, so right. I don't, don't want it. That's more of a hassle. It's a uh, frustration. I don't want to deal with it, so right. I'm gonna just get rid of it. But we see in there by saying, "Why well, I'm gonna give the inheritance to my fathers?" Right. This is what's handed down to me. I'm not gonna give it. Just give it to you like that. Right. So right. I just thought that that was powerful That we don't even hardly see that today family mm -hmm. That powerful. generational stuff That really don't mean nothing to A lot today. of the youth today They don't even want it When the parents die Or the grandparents die And you leave that for them Not all But I'm saying a right. lot of them don't The older generation They seem like they try to hold on to it Right but the younger one today They so caught up in this world exactly. and, and just chasing the world That that for them That's mm -hmm. a hassle for them That's like I don't I really don't I have no need for I don't have no need for they I got my own house I got my own family I don't want to deal with none of that So It's just crazy family mm -hmm. um, Verse 4 it says So Ahab went into his house Selling and displeased Because of the word Which Naboth The Jezreelite Had spoken to him mm -hmm. For he had said I will not give you The inheritance of my fathers and he lay down on his bed and turned away his face and would not eat food. But Jezebel, his wife, came to him and said to him, Why is your spirit so sullen that you eat no food? <clears throat> he said to her, Because I spoke to Naboth and said to him, Give me your vineyard for money, or else, if it pleases you, I will give you another vineyard for it. And he answered, I will not give you my vineyard. Verse 7, then Jezebel, his wife, said to him, you, may, you now exercise authority over Israel. Arise, eat food, and let your heart be cheerful. I will give you the vineyard of Naboth, the Jezreelite. Mm. So we see in Jezebel, like, I'm taking this into mm -hmm. my own hand. Mm -hmm. No matter what he said, mm -hmm. I will give it to you. She relied on her own strength. Pretty much the whole time, like, mm -hmm. you know, when they talked about her in the scriptures. Right. Mm -hmm. Verse 8, and she wrote letters in Ahab's name, sealed them with his seal. Wow. Mm -hmm. So she wrote it in, the, in his name. And sent wow. the letters to the elders and the nobles who were dwelling Ooh. in the city with Naboth. She wrote in the letter saying, proclaim a fast <clears throat> and seat Naboth with high honor among the people. And see two men, scoundrels, before him to bear witness against him, saying, You have blasphemed Yah and the king. Mm -hmm. Then take him out and stone him that he may die. Mm -hmm. So the men of his city and the elders and nobles who were inhabitants of his city did as Jezebel had sent to them, as it was written in the letters which, had, which she had sent to them. They proclaimed the fast and seated Naboth with high honor among the people. And two men, scoundrels, came in and sat before him. And the scoundrels witnessed against him, against Naboth, in the presence of the people, saying, <clears throat> Naboth has blasphemed Yah and the king. Then they took him outside the city and stoned him with stones, hmm. so that he died. Then they sent to Jezebel, saying, Naboth has been stoned and is dead. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So again, family, we seeing with Jezebel that Jezebel spirit, mm -hmm. that manipulative, manipulative spirit, right. relying on her own strength, mm -hmm. on her own might, mm -hmm. to get what she wants. Wow! Not surrendering and saying, you know what? <laughs> it's not Yah's will. Right. We're gonna do something else. Right. And not respecting the fact that the man wanted to just keep 
the property that he inherited. Because that's what which his, was, that's what his father right, gave, which is natural. That's what they were supposed to do, right? Exactly, exactly. But she was like, Mm-mm, "I'm in control. I'ma handle this." To the point to where she had a man murdered. And again, that's something mm. that we talk about all the Innocent time too. Man. I got this title. Mm. What she told uh, Ahab. You the king. So it's how somebody gonna deny you? You got the title. Hold on. We about to show them what's mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And y'all dealt with you too. Mm-hmm. Um Pride. Exactly. Prideful. Mm-hmm. Y'all hates a proud look. Mm-hmm. Again, stuck with that title. Jezebel was about them titles. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My husband is the king. Mm-hmm. You gonna deny him? Right. Hold on. Hold on. Mm-hmm. But something about what we was just talking about when uh when she's saying, I'm going to do it on my own might. I'm going to do it on my own my will. My own will, my own strength. What's something that we always say when, like, we're trying to achieve something. We have to a certain goal or whatever. If it don't happen, if we're striving for something, and if it gets difficult, mm-hmm. guess it's, what? That's not in your will. will. Guess what? We're going to let it go. We're going to let it go. Absolutely. <laughs> we're not going to be like Jezebel. I said, nah, you know what? I'm a- right. I'm going to get this and then come at right. it another way or something. Right. And sometimes y'all's trying to show you something. Leave that alone. Leave it alone. When y'all's in the midst of things, he's you're going to just see. It's a way that it exactly. shows you. Like, things start to look up. And yep. things, you know, eventually, like, easy. little bit by little bit, it'll start getting better. And right. Better. Like, something is going to gonna come, mm-hmm. you know, going to show you mm-hmm. that he's in it. Right. But if it's something that you, you keep, like... It, it, you got to force it. Right. You keep for. You keep trying to force something mm-hmm. over and over again, and you clearly seeing that mm, no, it's not yeah, working. I don't want that to you. That's not what he wants. That's you not, don't want you to go that take way. Take heed. Take heed. We're not saying now to not strive, right? And, and you know, for things and like right. not do your best at all that you do. Mm-hmm. That's not what we're saying. But some of you may understand what we're talking about. If you have experienced life and have strived for something, like sometimes y'all, he he has a way where he'll show you that this is not. What I want for you. How much time? No matter how much you try to do. How many times we strive for something and we had plans, we had all oh types of plans, family. All kinds I mean, of they had plans. it mapped out and everything. Mapped out, and y'all had a way. Y'all like, oh yes, well, mm mm. No. He was like, mm-mm. I don't care what you do. You ain't gonna be able to get. You ain't gonna nope. be able to get out of this. Yep. So yep. you wanna know that it's me telling you, be still and wait. And family. A lot of these things that we were doing, what we were just talking about, I mean, we poured a lot of time, effort, mm-hmm. and resources into these things. Mm-hmm. And y'all was like, Mm-mm. nope. <laughs> I don't care what you did. Nope. Stop it. Yeah. Do something else. Do something else. <laughs> this is not what I want you to do. This is and not you know what? It. Y'all has a way of working because a, a lot of times he'll come and he'll stop something when he knows that if he allows it. Right. That it can cause you to fall away. Exactly. It can cause your heart to become cold. Exactly. It can cause you to just, you know, to get out of the, to fall mm-hmm. away from the thing. Mm-hmm. And for your heart to um, become dis- disconnected with him. Right. So, a lot of times when he see that, then he'll come and be like, mm-mm. Because if I give you this, I know what it can cause. I can see ahead of you. That's why we, we normally trust y'all when he show us those signs because we know he can see ahead of us. Absolutely. So we know when it's y'all. We know Absolutely. when it is him and Absolutely. when he's telling us yes and when he's telling us no. Mm-hmm. And we are very obedient to that, but that's because of... Experience. Tri- yep. I was going to say trial and error. <laughs> yep. Experience. Yep. Y'all showed us too many times to where we know times. like... Too many times. Keep, keep fighting it if you want. Mm-hmm. You, you're doing that all for nothing. <laughs> you're doing yes. it all for nothing. So, I'm sure some of you could relate. Right. And if you can, drop something in the right. comments. Let right. us know. I'll show you guys. Y'all, you know. y'all had careers. We heard people saying careers that they went down. Mm-hmm. Studying to be this, get uh, certified in something. Mm-hmm. Just like, y'all was like, nope. I don't mm-hmm. want you to do that. I don't want you to do that. Go do something else. Right. So, yeah, I mean, it's just these different things, family. And again, like what we say. If it's meant to be, it's going to be easy. Mm-hmm. Y'all going to make it happen so easy. Think right. about the Israelites at the Red Sea. That was, y'all like, they knew that's mm-hmm. Pharaoh on one side, the water on the other side. Mm-hmm. Where we going to go? <laughs> y'all said, right. I'm going to make a way for y'all. Hold on. Right. But Moses said, be still. Mm-hmm. And y'all going to deliver y'all. Mm-hmm. And that's what we're telling y'all, family. Be still. We are mighty in mm-hmm. y'all. Put our trust in him. Yes. 
And that was our lesson today, family. We just mm -hmm. thought that this was important. Mm -hmm. Again, to be reminded, what, what I always tell you guys, repetition is the mother of skill. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I just want to mention this part, too, because we didn't read that scripture on mm -hmm. Jezebel, her, out, the ending. Her oh, ending. okay. Mm -hmm. We were supposed to read that to you guys. I'm sure some mm -hmm. of you, like most of you may know the story of uh, Jezebel. But remember, that's not all she did with, uh, with what's his name, Nabal? Nabal? Nabal. Mm -hmm. um, that wasn't all she did. Mm -hmm. She also um, was against the prophets of Yah. Right. You all remember. Mm -hmm. So she did think she murdered the prophets of Yah. Mm -hmm. So she was just, she just took a lot of things into her own hands and was relying on her own strength. Mm -hmm. So, you know, over time, that stuff built up. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Yah had an end for her. Yep. And that's what we. That's, uh, let me start at 22. Mm -hmm. it's First Kings 21 22 says, I will make your house like the house of Jeroboam. Uh, the son of Nebat, and like the house of Basha, the son of Ahiah, because of the provocation with which you have provoked me to anger and made Israel sin. And concerning Jezebel, Yahuwah Yahoo also spoke, saying, The dog shall eat Jezebel by the wall of Jezreel. Mm -hmm. The dog shall eat whoever belongs to Ahab and dies in the city. Mm -hmm. And the birds of the air shall eat whoever dies in the field. Mm -hmm. Mm. And that's exactly what happened to Jezebel. Yep. The dogs ate her. Yeah. Ate her flesh. Yep. She didn't even have a burial. Mmm. Wow. And then that's what we're warning you against, family. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Don't be prideful. Mm -hmm. Don't rely on your own strength. Don't rely on your own strength. And when we do that, that is what we were saying. That's being prideful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> again, we thought that this lesson was important mm -hmm. because Many of us forget. Mm -hmm. We just told you guys. <laughs> we forget. Mm -hmm. We go through the same things. We're human that we human right. just like you guys. We go through the same thing. And we have to be reminded of this mm -hmm. also. We have to be reminded, family. Yes. Again, uh, we have to look at our own awesome jar. <laughs> mm -hmm. Our Absolutely. own victory jar. We have to yes. look at them, read them same verses, family. Right. Just remembering what Yah did for us. Mm -hmm. What he brought us through. Right. These are the things we can't forget, family. Right, and that he will fight for us. All we have to do is be still. That's still, it. That's and that's it, with family. every situation in your life. Whether someone's coming against you, mm -hmm. you know, whether, um, what is some other stuff? They're dealing with challenges dealing in their with family. Challenges, right. The family. Their family. Mm -hmm. With their fate. Yep. Some people, believe right. it or not, that us in this walk have been shaken or, you know, their fate is being, being uh, shaken. Yes. You know? Yes. So, even in that, too. You know, we have to touch on all of these different things. There's multiple um, reasons why we can kind of like get off um, the pet mm -hmm. and not completely trusting in Yah for something. But let's not lean on our own strength. Right. Gotta yeah. lean on Yah. You said that, uh, and that just reminded me. A lot of people, a lot of people new into the channel, family. They coming into this to this walk. They coming into the faith. Um, and. I think we did a lesson a while back when we were talking about um, this thing is like a marathon. Mm -hmm. It's marathon. not a sprint. Right. It's a marathon, yes. not a sprint, family. So to you guys that are new in the faith, we just want to encourage you. Uh, take your time, family. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. Right. A lot of times, again, you guys, you come in, you want to know all the knowledge. Mm -hmm. You want to mm -hmm. soak up as much information as you can. I seen somebody drop that in the comment the other day. They want to get all the different uh, knowledge that they can from these different channels. Mm -hmm. um, it's like what we say in, in a marriage when the, uh, they newlyweds. Mm -hmm. They still in the uh, in the lovey dovey phase. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The the marriage really takes place when that when that goes away. Mm -hmm. Right. When when that wears off, that's when the marriage really starts because now. Right. The looks don't matter anymore. Right. Now you start seeing more of each other than Right, right, and right. All of these so things. Are you going to stick around now? Another. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're telling you guys. You're in this for the long haul. Mm -hmm. Take your time and yes. just know at the end of the day that you are mighty in Yah. Your mm -hmm. strength comes from Him. From Him. And try to focus mm -hmm. more on strengthening your relationship with Him. Absolutely. Because when we come out of Christianity, we already have been done down, mm -hmm. sitting under these pro these false prophets. Right. You know, sugarcoat scripture. Mm -hmm. So we heard enough of that. Right. So the most important thing is really for you to develop that personal relationship with Him that you've really never had 
because of sitting under falsehood. Exactly. So focus more on that mm -hmm. so that you don't get caught up in the distractions. Avoid distractions because you're going to see it because they're always going to have somebody that's operating in the flesh. Yes. And that's going to come and try to distract people yep. because that's where they are in yep. their walk. Mm -hmm. And some of them, like we said before, are not real believers. Mm -hmm. So you have to just be aware of that. But if you focus on Yah, you're going to be okay because like he said, he's our strength and our shield. Absolutely. It's going to protect you from those exactly. things. Exactly. And give you the discernment to be able to spot That's it. what I was going to bring up. Yeah. Pray for the sermon, family. That's what you want. Mm -hmm. Ask y'all for the sermon to, it's okay, y'all. Who should I be listening to? Who should I follow? Um, what's right? What's wrong? Just praying for that thing and knowing that at the end of the day, whoever I'm listening to, whoever I'm following, they got to align with your word, mm -hmm. y'all. Because my might comes from you. My, mm -hmm. my strength comes from you. Right. And they have to align with you. Right. If it doesn't align with y'all, right. stay away from your the Your word now. Right. Let's make that clear. It has to align with your word. Mm -hmm. Not anything outside of that. Because they have a lot of people going outside of that. Yes. Your, y'all's word. Y'all's word, right. Y'all's word. So, again, family, that was our lesson. We hope it was edifying for you guys. Mm -hmm. We hope you uh, have the, a great rest of your day. Yes. I, Mm -hmm. I want to mention something, sorry, Brother Russia, mm -hmm. but I don't want to forget. Please send us an email if you have any questions. We would encourage you to do that instead of um, putting putting it in the comments. Right. Because it's hard for us, um, <clears throat> you know, to, it's just easier. It's an easier process for us to just respond when we have time, yes. we have downtime yes. to messages. And, you know, yes. if you have any questions about yes. something. Yes, I'm glad you brought that up because mm -hmm. we've been getting a lot of messages lately of people say. They want to get on the phone with us. Mm -hmm. Family, it's not that we're being rude or anything. It's just like what Sister Abby, I just said. It's just mm -hmm. we're so busy with life, right. household, right. family. And we would love to talk right. to all of you guys. You just right. don't know. Right. It's just that we are real busy, you guys. We're mm -hmm. doing a lot of these things. And maybe in the future, because me and right. Brother Rashad talked about it, mm -hmm. maybe in the future we might do something. Right. You know, well, some kind talk of and fellowship and gathering or, or like, right. like that. Y'all yeah, zoom right. and then later down the line of mm -hmm. fellowship and gathering or something. Right. Y'all puts it on our heart to right. do that. Right. But y'all has to put it on our heart. Absolutely. But we would really love to meet you guys, mm -hmm. you know, and, and talk to you guys. Absolutely. So it's not that we don't want to. <laughs> Absolutely. But again, if you email us, like Sister Abby, I say, we will definitely e respond back to you. Mm -hmm. We will respond back to you. It's just, it's more convenient that way when you guys do it that way. It's just convenient for everybody. Right. Um, Someone also mentioned, um, which is our our sister, our girl, um, Unapologetic Truth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she mentioned about um, a corporate fast right. on um, the last message. Mm -hmm. so I just want to say that that's something that we will be right. considering. Mm -hmm. um, and then when we do, we'll let you guys yeah, know. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you absolutely. for um, actually bringing that to our attention. Absolutely. Yep. So we we'll appreciate you guys. And we will talk to you on the next one. All right. Shalom. Love you, brothers and sisters.